showroom located at 2301 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. I think they're ready for basketball. Not, not sure it gets any better than this, Jeff. Uh, standing crowd right now to, for the opening tip between Block and the big boy. Yep, there he is. There's Scotty Wallace, the 6'7 senior. Opening tip is controlled by Lanfear. They will move to the basket to our left here in the first quarter. DeAndre Alexander down in the uh, corner back to Wallace. Back to Alexander, almost thrown away. Austin looked like he may have stepped on the timeline, but Austin controls working against Olden. Now over to Alexander. Bishop, he's their lefty three-point specialist. Got to get out on him. Bishop drives to the left, goes by Max. Lanfear being very patient this first possession. Decked out in all orange with black lettering and numerals. Austin drives, had it taken away, stolen by Max. Gavin comes away with the steal, so the Railers quick turnover. A uh, guy that Austin uh, was playing on the perimeter of that possession, and he really hurt us in the middle last time uh, the Railers and uh, Lanfear got together. So uh, two turnovers now that says Max throws the ball away to uh, Bulby, and uh, of course the Lanfear Lions start out. So turnover, turnover, and we're back to square one. Yep, Max tried to get it over to Bulby, who was on the far side in front of the Lanfear bench. So Ed couldn't hang on to it. So as Josh said, that turnover for each team as we get started. It may take a while for the nerves to settle down, and the team that gets out to the early edge may be the one that can settle down first. Yeah, get to each other's crowd into it, and uh, that'll help. Austin at the top of the key, working against Olden. Bishop from the volleyball line for three. Missed it badly. Ball loose on the floor, and Lanter's able to track it down. Yeah, long rebound all the way out to the volleyball line, and uh, nobody around it, and then Scotty Wallace picked it up. Alexander pulls up jumper baseline. That's no good, and Bobby gets the rebound, and we're going the other way. I think that's over the back on 6'4 uh, yeah. senior Darius Milliken. Yeah, we talked about rebounding, and that time uh, the senior, Bobby did a great job of boxing out. Got Milliken on his back, and uh, there's there's things you can do. You, you can box out, but yet you got to go for the rebound. That time, Bobby did. So now the Railers face the pressure from Lanfear. Gavin on the far side. Yeah, with Works. Austin Gardening, too. Works it into the front court. That's a matchup all night to watch Brock and Austin. Push him down in the corner to Bobby. Bobby brings it out down to Max. Max works it down, working against Wallace. Lanfear crowd coming to their feet. Though. It's a good defense by the Lions. Max looks to drive, kicks back out to Joey. Down to Horsham. Into the lane, Bobby takes a shot, kicks back out to Max. Now to Bobby on the right side. Bobby looks to go by his guy. Nice defense by Lanfear. Yeah, good pressure, man-to-man -man, uh, defense by uh, by Lanfear. Good job by the Railers to handle on the pressure. Just haven't been able quite to uh, get a cut to the basket. Horshin picks up his dribble near the timeline. Now over to Joey. Two minutes gone by in this one. No score yet. Cook to Gavin, working against Austin. Gavin looks to make a move. Backing, backing, kicks to Bobby. Now to Max, top of the key. Max takes one way down the lane. He goes up, and a foul is going to be whistled. And that's going to go against Bishop, I believe, underneath. The baseline official had the call. Uh, no, it's going to go against uh, Alexander. Yeah, he's our best defender, along with uh, with Austin. He's guarding Max Cook. They've got Austin on uh, on uh, block, so they're two best defenders, obviously, on the two best Railer offensive guys. So after the second foul being called on Lamp here, five and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Railers with the basketball, and the basket to our right here at Roy S. Anderson, a jam packed Roy S. Anderson, Bobby a screen, three on the way, left it short off the front of the rim. Joey tried to get the rebound, couldn't, and it's tipped out ahead to Austin. Austin had it stripped away from Bobby, and then a foul is going to be whistled. That looked like he got a little bump from Max, but Bobby came in, and a foul is going to be whistled on Ed. That'll be his first. Yeah, stripped away. I thought maybe the foul could have been on Max early. It gave Austin a little bump going to the basket. Uh, that time it's Bulby, and that's a guy that's uh, has struggled staying in and out of foul trouble for the Railers, and uh, a quick early one for Bulby. Austin's first free throw. And an air ball. Oh, an air ball. Do you think there's a little nerve in this game? Do you think he's going to hear it the rest of the night? <laughs> Austin with an air ball on the first free throw. Everybody gets set again. Again, we talked about it may take halfway through this quarter for everybody to just calm down. Well, and I think, too, you got to feel, feel out the officials a little bit. How are they going to be uh, calling this basketball game? Are they going to be calling it tight? Are they going to let them play and hang on us a little bit and, and also let the Railers hang on them also? Austin missed the second one. Ball was knocked out of bounds by Wallace. So we're at 5-16, and uh, we're still looking for the first points of the night as the Railers get it inbound and head this way, looking for the first score of the evening. Max into the front court for the Railers. Brings it to the left side, top of the key. 
Looks to make a move. Pull up. Nope, didn't take the three. Hands off to Gavin. Gavin pulls up. He'll fire a three on the way. That's going to rattle off. No good. Rebound down to Wallace for Lanphier. Yeah, not a good shot by Gavin. Had a guy right in his face. And uh, that, that's a, a fourth shot of trying to get going, trying to get those first points on the board. Austin down in the corner to Alexander. Alexander skips it across. Tyler Horsham up the steal. Tyler looking, looking. He's going to pull up for three. Didn't go down. Bobby almost had the rebound. And they're going to say last touch by Lanphier. And uh, I'm not sure about that one, Josh. Yeah, I don't uh, know what that was. Uh, I, thought, I thought Ed was the last to touch it. Yeah, he'll it looked certainly like take it. Ed was going against Bishop, and he was a little taller. It looks like he had the last hand on that one. But uh, we'll take any breaks we can get. 4.35 to go in the first quarter. Still no score. Joey works the dribble over to Gavin. Gavin top of the key, hands to Max. Trailers run a little weave out high. Now Max will break it to the timeline. Horsham on the right wing. Hands to Gavin. Gavin with a spin move. Austin goes down. Gavin down the lane. Got it. Well, great move by Gavin. He's been doing that for the last several months now with just taking the ball to the hole uh, with no worries about anybody in front of him. He's going to go to the basket. And then a bad pass as it's intercepted by Boomby. Lanter trying to play a little too fast. Max down the lane. Nobody gets in his way. Contact won't go down. But Max will go to the line, and he will be shooting too. I think maybe the biggest difference in this team in the last since really that Lanphier game, Jeff, has been the play of, of all the Raiders in, in particular. But it's been Max and Gavin going to the hoop. That time Max had no worry of even putting that basket in, but he had two guys going up to try and block a shot, and he just got into the body, drew a foul, and now it's going to the free throw line. Max, first free throw on the way. It's up, and it is good. Max came in a 76% free throw shooter. It's the first one to go down, 3.55 to go. Railers with a 3-0 advantage. We see Milliken go to the bench. We also see DeAndre Alexander head off. Milliken, of course, Josh, on that play, picking up his second foul. Yeah, and that'll be a tough one. That he's their, uh, one of their better defenders, on-the-ball defenders, and uh, you take a guy out that, and also he's got good size. Max misses the second one. Bishop in the corner, looks to make a move, and a blocking foul is going to be whistled on Bowlby. And at 3.47 to go in the first quarter, Bowlby just picked up his second. Yeah, probably Conrad. He's going to have to play some long minutes here. I uh, saw the, the, the big junior. Um, he's been a, he's done a great job off the bench, uh, giving a rest or coming in for foul trouble all season long. And, and Bowlby, as we talked about, picks, that, uh, picks up that second foul early here in the contest. 3.47 to go. Railers on top, 3-0. Lanthier looking to inbound. They do see... Do, to uh, Yakima Rose, the one that hit the shot that sent the game into overtime down in Springfield. Huston with the move, the floater off the glass. That's no good. There's Wallace there to clean it up yeah. for Lanfield. Well, Gavin kind of missed time to jump. The uh, ball took an extra hop on the rim, and Gavin went up, went past him, and there was Scotty Wallace for a for a nice putback for, uh, for Lanfield. Max to Gavin. Gavin's going to drive in, and a blocking foul is going to be whistled on Larry Austin. That'll be his first. And already the fourth team foul on Lanphier. And Josh, free throws could become very important in this one. Oh, no question. Lanphier uh, playing really tight man-to-man, -man, and Gavin did a great thing here. You put your you put your shoulder down, and you, and you, you just keep driving into him until they call a foul because uh, that time Austin was all over him. And we see an official yelling at Conradi and Wallace, telling them both to knock it off as they were fighting for position underneath. Ball inbounded out to Joey Olden in the backcourt. Now hands over to Max. Max across the timeline, right wing to Joey Olden. On top to Gavin. Gavin looks to make a move down the baseline. On the sideline, it is good. Gavin. And the front court, Lanfear quickly. Wallace back out. Right side, jumper missed everything, but Austin comes down with the air ball rebound. Austin forcing his way up. Great defense by the Railers, and Gavin and Max come out of there with it. Great D by the Railers. Yeah, I'm not sure Austin was really just, he had the two two bigger Railers there. Two bigger Railers there as at that time Max goes in again and uh, and gets a uh, shot blocked by uh, Scotty Wallace, but Max, keep doing it. You know, they're going to they're gonna continue to call fouls or you're going to get layups, so you can't stop the aggressive play, but on the other end, Austin had three guys around him and three of our taller guys, Conrad, Block, and Cook, and he was just trying to throw it up and uh, and hope for a foul. 2.40 to go first quarter. Railers on top, 5-2. Cook to inbound, looking, hands to Conradi. Adams double team, so they bring it out, hands to Gavin. Gavin makes a move down the lane, and then a foul is going to be whistled 
on uh, Lanfear again, and that one's going to go against Tribbett. And that's the third foul Gavin's produced, I guess you would say, for, for against Lanfear. He's flat out just putting his head down and uh, gets that guy on the side of him, exactly what you're supposed to do. And uh, right now, Gavin Block really looking to try to go to the hole. Tank and five, Lanfear two. Lanfear already with five team fouls in this one. Max looking to inbound on the baseline. Gets it out to Conradie. Conradie will take the dribble hand to Gavin. Now to Max. Max is going to drive to the lane. Thought about taking it. Conradi, baseline jumper on the way. That was off the front of the room. No good. Peyton Ebelair in with it. Three for Gavin. Yes. Yes. And a credit Peyton Ebelair on that to keep in the ball alive. A great offensive rebound by Peyton. And he kicked it out to wide open Gavin Block. 8-2, two, two minutes to go. Ball tipped around into the hands of Conradi. Gavin ahead to Evil Air. Peyton will slow things down for the Railers. You know, if Lincoln scores here, you might think of Lanker taking a timeout, but instead, another foul is going to be whistled. This is going to go against Rose. And Josh, 157 to go. That's already 16 fouls on Lanfear. Yeah, I look back on the uh, the free throw attempts last game and uh, the Lanfear Lions, what a thing that really hurt them. They were 14 of 22 from the line. The Railers 11 of 13, so it could be a uh, free throw battle early for the Railers. Ebelair going to drive in. Contact off the glass and good. Peyton Ebelair comes in. Joey steal it. Up. Joey good. Steal it up. Good. Timeout Lanfear. This place is wet and rocking now, Jeff. Everybody's standing. 144 to go in this one. Landfear forced to take a steal. So uh, they've got to uh, kind of work their game to the officials, as do the Railers. Uh, as you said, 16 fouls already for Landfear, but it's not a fact that uh, they're not fouls. They're hanging all over us. So after the timeout at the 140 mark, Landfear into their front court. Landfear works it around to Austin. Flips it back on top to Rose. Rose looks to drive in, and a reach-in foul is going to be whistled. And they're going to get either Max or they're going to get Joey down. Yeah, it looked like Max on the, uh, I think Max on the reach as he was kind of playing. They had Bishop in the corner and Rose at the top. He was going to, he was going to split that. And Max had to stay out on Bishop, and now Nick Patton steps in, and he's a guy that can shoot the ball from the perimeter also. As uh, Will Cook checks in for Joey Olden, so now uh, really two shooters on the floor for the Lions: Bishop and Patton. And uh, they're probably going to move uh, Austin into the middle and try and get him a little more involved in the offense. Austin inbounds it out to Patton. And Ebelair comes away with the block. Austin comes down with it, skips it over to Trivet, And he's going to be called for walks, I think. Yes, he is. As he kind of shuffled his feet just a little bit. Yeah, and Max went up to block him. And, uh, and then he saw another railer coming over, which was Conradi. And uh, he shuffled his feet and, and got the travel. 1.15 left in the first quarter. Railers on top by 10. Score is 12-2. Ebelair on the left wing. Ebelair is going to drive. Cut off by Patton. Now kicks it back out to Gavin. Gavin, a bad pass. And he picked up by Austin. And here comes a dunk. A two-hand dunk by Austin. Yeah, and that's one thing you don't want to do is get him going on a breakaway. He flushes it down easy. Uh, but that time, just a bad pass by Ebelair. Threw it at the uh, feet of Gavin. Gavin couldn't quite control it. And, and uh, Austin got the steal. Gavin thought about the three. He's going to drive in. Spin move. Reverse layup. What a move by Gavin. Wow, that was a spin move. And then he saw Austin coming from the side, so he went up and under. And there's two on Max now also. A foul just on Max Cook. But uh, what a move by Gavin. Goes up and under on a reverse layup. And like you said, that's going to be the second foul on Max Cook. Fourth team foul. So Joey Olden will check in as Max will take a seat. 38 seconds to go. Railers on top. 14 to 4. Now you got to weather a storm without Bowlby and Cook on the floor. Well, you're right. Cook, our main ball handler, and that's what you're most worried about is the pressure that Lanfear can put on you. And then a blocking foul is going to be whistled on Conradi as he tried to shut the baseline off for Bishop. So now the fouls are about evening up now. Six on Lanfear, five on the Railers, so we could see a lot of uh, a lot of free throws from both teams here in the first first half. Trivet will inbound for the Lions to the right side of the lane. Lob play to Austin. Tried to catch it. He did. Goes up strong. Reverse layup. No. Tip try. And we've got a foul underneath. And is that going to be on Conradi? Uh, I think they got Adam for a push in the back. 
And now Adams picked up his second foul. So the Railers have 16 fouls. Three players have two. Max Cook, Bowlby, and Conrad. 26 seconds to go. Austin to inbound for Lanfear. Lobs it out to Trivet. Austin three from the right side. That's off a good Joey the rebound. Yeah, that's, that's, exact, for that's exactly where you want Austin. Outside the uh, perimeter on the three-point line taking three-pointers. That's not his strong point of the game. And a good job by the Railer defense. Holding out to Ebelair to seven. Gavin down to five. Got to look for something. Gavin's going to make a move. Move. Get it over to Joey for three. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. At the buzzer. At the end of one, it is Lincoln 17, Landfear 4. Back with the second quarter in a moment. You're listening to Lincoln Baylor Basketball. Lincoln 17, Landfear 4. with Josh Comnick, Jeff Benjamin with you. Second quarter of action underway. Railers the basketball and the lead. Will Cook tries to step into a three. That's off the back of the rim, no good. Adam Conradi the rebound. Joey will try and hit another three. Hit it, Joey! And a big rebound by Adam Conradi right in the middle, and no other Lanfear even went for it. It was just big Conradi underneath, and uh, he kicked it out. Joey's three makes it 20-4, to four, and then Bishop comes down, and he misses the three. Railers with the rebound into the front court with Gavin. Yeah, several offensive rebounds have produced points for the Railers, and that's a huge, huge key. Railers up 20-4. to four. Gavin a three. That one's going to be no good off the top of the backboard. Rebound comes down to Lanfear. Great first quarter for the Railers, a 17-4 advantage at the end of one. And, of course, Joey gets it started here in the second with a three. Not sure the Lions have held, been held to four points in one quarter uh, at all this year. They try to get it in a Wallace. He mishandled a little bit. Alexander steps in, spins off no good. Rebound to Wallace underneath. Wallace goes up strong, left, won't go down. Gets his own rebound and hits it up and in. Yeah, big boy underneath Wallace. Goes about, uh, what, 6'7", uh, probably about 2'30". Underneath, and he's just clearing people out underneath on the boards. Railers got to got to get their uh, rear down a little bit and start start boxing out. Ebelair to Gavin at the high post gets it back to Ebelair. Stutter step, kicks it over to Conradi. Open Joey three. Yeah, too much ball movement for the Railers right now. Joey Old feeling it from behind three. That's his third three here in the half, and a great job by Peyton Ebelair. Has a steal by Joey too. Steal by Joey over to Will to Peyton. Over to Will, off the glass, count it! 25-6, Railers on top. Wallace looks to make a move, high off the glass, that's no good. Gets his own rebound, and we've got a foul underneath on the far side. Yeah, Scotty Wallace is just saying, uh, Lions get on my back, because I'll carry you. He threw it up there and went and go got it off, a, uh, off an air ball on a layup, so the Railers have uh, got to find number 20, the big body, and here comes Cruz in for Conradi, and hopefully Cruzy can get him uh, knocked out of, uh, out of the paint and keep Wallace off the boards. Wallace with four. That foul in that last play was by Will Cook. That's his first. Tough to guard this Railer team as they get a, get an offensive rebound. They uh, they move a cup, move it around, and the Landfair Lions were just scrambling as we found Joey Olden twice now for threes. Wallace free throw. That'll go down. He now has five. As Josh said, Austin Cruz in this with Edward Bowlby and Max Cook on the bench with two early fouls. Yeah, and I think you got to. I think you have to stay there at two and and, and uh, keep them there as long as this lead is is where it is. Uh, you you don't want to get either one of those two with uh, three fouls going into the second half because you're going to need them. After Wallace makes the second one, they take a timeout. Six on one to go. We'll take it with them. Railers up 25. Strong eight. concern is is the rebounding, uh, keeping Wallace off the boards. But other than that, the Railers have. Uh, Moved, we shot it well. Basically, Jeff, what we've been seeing for the last two months is nothing different. Yeah, the uniform of their opponents may change, but the Railer performance has not. Railers inbound after the timeout taken by Lanther. They get it into Ebler, and now they've really turned up the pressure, and the Railers break the pressure. Will gets it over to Joey. Yeah, good idea by Joey. I thought uh, Lanther was kind of getting back on some transition defense, and... He didn't, he didn't force that three, even though he's been on fire. Gavin underneath to wide open. Will Cook is good. Yeah, nobody guarding Will, and a great job by Joey of keeping his eyes up for all the young kids. That's a travel. Ball thrown away. Steal by the Railers. 
Gavin underneath, Will too far underneath, so he hands to Gavin coming to the basket, and Gavin will go to the line, and he will be shooting too. Yeah, the, the, just the, the, the fluidity of the offense now, the defense starting to pick up as Milliken goes sliding across the floor, hit a wet spot, and it was no, it, that was exactly where the Lanfair Lions timeout was. So they were dripping water or something over there. So uh, that, they pay for that uh, bad mistake. Their, uh, their water boy's got to be out there and cleaning up some water, but uh, we tip it away. And we got nice ball movement. We find a cutting Gavin Block, and he goes in strong uh, in for the layup. Doesn't get the layup, but he's going to the line for two more free throws. Gavin will be at the line shooting two. Gavin, a 78% free throw shooter. Gavin with two. First one on the way. It's good. Yeah, Jeff, I, I, I believe we've got Ben Conradi checking in from Nashville, ten or sorry, Franklin, Tennessee. I think that's Adam's older brother. So uh, we're hitting about five states now. Got some folks listening out in Utah. I know that for sure. Yeah, add them up. Gavin gets them both. Railers up 29 to 8. Five and a half to go in the first half. Alexander kicks it over to Bishop. Bishop at the top of the key works around the Railer defense. Alexander looks to go baseline. Nice reverse layup. That's no good. Wallace and everybody fighting for the rebound. Comes down. Nice play by Milliken. Man, it's it really just been the offensive board, Jeff. The only thing that's hurt the Railer defense so far at all in this game has been the offensive rebounding by Lanfear. 29-10. Five minutes to go. Austin Cruz stuck in a double team. Gets out of it to Will. Timeout. Cook. Timeout. Will's over there trying to yell timeout. And we hear Coach Alexander making that timeout call. Most likely just a 30. Yeah, got a, a, yeah he got caught in the coffin corner. Uh, and uh, Will is a, a, This may be as many or more because this one's a bigger one. Well, it's bigger. Uh, we can seat a few more people in here uh, rather than Lobernica. But uh, what a game this has been so far. The Railers uh, right, on, right on point. The inbound pass is tipped away into the hands of Larry Austin. Austin down the lane with the layup is good on the steal. Yeah, and now is the, the key is can the Railers handle this pressure without Max, one of their, their mainstays as far as a ball handler, and uh, can they break the pressure? Ebler over to Olden. Olden on the left wing now to block. Gavin looks to go baseline. Skips it over here in the corner. Ebler three, spins in and out, no good. And Will Cook and Bishop get tied up. And I think Will is going to pick that one up, and that'll be the second. And that'll send Bishop to the line, and he'll be shooting one in bonus. Josh, it's a 17-point lead for the Railers, 29-12. Four and a half to go. You don't want to give them any momentum heading into halftime. No, there's not. And, and really, uh, Will kind of kind of made a silly foul on that one. You know, he's going for a rebound. Uh, we love the great hustle that Will always brings. But uh, you don't want to give up uh, fouls, especially on the other side of the court. You know, now you're sending them to the line to... Uh, to get points here where I'm sure Bishop is a good free throw shooter, uh, especially with the clock uh, not ticking. Bishop, the lefty sophomore. Free throw up, spins out and back in. Got yeah, another Railer fan out in uh, Beloit, Wisconsin coming in on uh, Twitter, Scott Folk. So uh, Scott, we hope we uh, bring you a Railer W here. 29-13, Bishop with the first. Second one, that one good as well. As Lanfear stays in their press, uh, the Railers have done a pretty good job so far with, with Max on the bench of just uh, finding your openings, getting to your guys that can handle the pressure. A 6-0 run for Lanfear. Joey tries to answer for three. Off the back of the rim, no good. And Austin high for the rebound on that one. Austin behind the back as he heads down court. On the left side now to Bishop who fires a three. Got it. Yeah, yeah you know they're going to you know they're gonna make their run. We talked about it's uh, going to be tough to to keep this uh, intensity and shooting the ball as well as we have. We got to go back to uh, finding ways to get layups. Halfway through the second quarter, 29-17, Railer lead is 12. Horsham in the corner, gets it back out now to Ebelair. But again, you don't want to be afraid to shoot. No, no, you got to keep shooting, especially if you're Joey. Uh, he's been on fire so far, be nice. This is a huge basket here for the Railers. We see Block and uh, Milliken really going at it underneath. Ebler kicks it out. They find it to Gavin. Gavin, and a foul is going to be whistled on uh, Lanfear, and that's going to go against Milliken. That's going to be his third, and that was a foul that was about 30 seconds too late. Yeah, there's been a lot of grabbing, and now as Lanfear starts to get a little more momentum in their favor, uh, their defense is going to pick up also. So uh, the big, uh, big free throws here by Gavin to try and break that momentum of that streak. I think uh, now five straight for Lanfear. 
So uh, some big free throws here by the junior. 3.33 left in the first half. It is Lincoln at 29. Lanfear 17. First free throw up and good. Gavin Conway steps up. Knocks down two free throws, nothing but net. Or sorry, I'm hoping for two. We got one. You're just confident. <laughs> I hope. Gavin free throw on the way. It's up and rolls off. 30-17. The lead for the Railers is 13. Three and a half to go in the first half. Bishop into the front court for Lanfear. They yeah. hand it over to Trivet. Get out on Bishop. He's hit one, and the one can very easily lead to three or four. Trivet down the lane. Kicks it over to Austin in the corner. Nice job by Cruz getting out on the senior. Bishop a long three. Missed it badly. Rebound to Gavin. Maybe yeah. a little too far. Well, and he hit some of those in Lanfear. Maybe yeah. not quite out that far, but he was... Uh, a long way away from the basket. Max Cook back in the lineup for the Railers. 2.55 to go first half. Austin Cruz hands it over to Gavin. Gavin mishandles just a little bit, but picks back up, working against Austin. Gavin had it stripped away, picked it back up. Max in the corner for three. Yep. Ooh, right off the bench, too. Max's man went to go double on Gavin, and Gavin did a good job of being, being strong with the ball, got it to Max, and hit that corner three right in front of us. And what's unusual is usually that's not where Max takes his shot from. Travel. As they dump it down to Wallace, who misses, gets his rebound, lays it up and in. Yeah, it looked like he took an extra step before. He, got, he covered a lot of ground without a dribble. 33-19, 14-point advantage for the Railers. Approaching 2.15 to go. Max backs the dribble down, now hands to Horsham, between the circles to Gavin Block. Gavin working against Austin, takes it two, lost it, going up, no call. Ahead to Wallace, Wallace bounces it over to Bishop, he couldn't handle it, he looks to go down, gets it out to Wallace. Kick it over now on the right side, a three is on the way again, missed it badly, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds, they're going to say last set by the Railers. Man, is there some speed out there. And Cruz and Wallace were battling underneath. Yeah, and both, uh, both teams, just some... Absolute quickness. What a what a challenge it is for Gavin Block to play against uh, Austin for uh, for four quarters, a uh, full court man. And uh, Gavin's really got to be quick with the ball and strong with the ball. He doesn't have to be trying to be as quick as Austin. Um, he just got to make it, do a good job of making his moves. Bishop lobs in now to get it back to Bishop. Trivet. Ball just tipped away. A bad pass into the hands of Peyton Ebeler. Railers into the front court. Gavin with a nice move down the lane, and a reach-in foul is going to be whistled on Lanfear. Gavin goes back to the line. Yeah, and Austin, it, it's it's unusual. I mean, your main guy, I, I know he's got to be in great condition, uh, but he, he sits the bench for the second time, I think, tonight. And I'm telling you, well, you couldn't pull me off the court uh, in a game like this. 1.41 to go. Gavin at the line. Free throw up. Got it. Yeah, the free throws will be uh, be huge here. Down the stretch, 19 fouls for the Lions. Eight for the Railers now as Gavin stepping to the line. Austin looking to check back in. Just must need a little uh, sip of some Gatorade, and he's going to be back in. Gavin gets them both. He's got 14 so far. And uh, remember down at Lober Nike, Josh, in January, Gavin had his best night of his career with 28. Yeah. And I think the Raiders are doing a good job of weathering that early storm, uh, that five-point run uh, by Lanfear of getting some points back. Bishop, lots of contact, looking for the contact. Nothing coming. Joey ahead. Now he peels back out. Good job by the senior. Yeah, I got Horsham open in the corner. There's Tyler. Hands off to Joey at the top of the key. Well, he'd love to run about a minute off here. There's a, 20, a minute 20 seconds left here in the second quarter. He could run a minute off here and, uh, and then get a basket. Cruz at the timeline, over to Joey. Back on top to Horsham. Gavin on the right wing. Over to Ebelair. Peyton down the left side of the lane, now kicks back out. Down to Gavin cutting through, and Austin's going to be whistled as he couldn't hang on to Gavin. Yeah. Gavin slipped right past him, and all he had to do was grab great, him. Great move, too. It looked like they were going to run the high ball screen at the top of the key, and, uh, and Austin was really playing out to stop the dribble from Ebelair. And... Uh, and Gavin just slipped the screen and went right to the basket. Austin could do nothing but hang on to him in order to uh, to not get the two easy free throws, or sorry, two, uh, the two easy points. Gavin at the line. Already five of six tonight. Make it six of seven. Yeah, 
14, that 14 for Gavin so far, Jeff. 102 to go, 36-19. Gavin second one, now in back rim, no good. 36-19 quickly down yeah. court. Trivet with the jumper is easy, good. Easy basket for Lanfear. Brought it right down, uh, right down as Max Cook went back out. Good job of coach of bringing him in for a couple minutes, weathering that storm, and then going to sit him here for the uh, for the rest of the half. So now the Railers look to hold for one. Will Cook over to Horsham. 40 seconds left in the first half. Railers up by 15. Boy, if you're uh, if you're the Railers, you'd love to be able to hold the ball here, but what a tough team that is to hold the ball for for 40 seconds on. They really really try to get out and anticipate those passing lanes. They're going to jump you on any uh, any type of screen. 20 seconds to go. Railers holding for one. Gavin directing traffic. Working against Austin. We're down to 12. Gavin crossover move. Hands to Evil Air. Down to nine. Got to look for something. Evil Air lost his footing. Now gets out to Gavin. Fade away jumper. That's going to fall short. Austin will throw it full length court and hits the front of the rim. No good. Our score at the end of the first half. It is Lincoln 36. Landfear 21.